find the third Maclaurin polynomial for the function f of x equal to natural log 1 minus x, and use that to approximate natural log of 1.1. So let's take a look at our recipe for getting Maclaurin polynomials. Here, we're asked to only find the third Maclaurin polynomial. So note, Maclaurin means the center is going to be equal to 0. So our terms are going to look like x minus 0 raised to the kth power, or just powers of x. And then we're going to load them up with a's. So our recipe for a is going to be a sub k equals kth derivative of f, evaluated 0, divided by k factorial. Finally, since we're looking at third, that means all I need to go as high as exponent equal to 3. So let's push this through. a0, well, a0 is the zeroth derivative, which is just the function itself, divided by 0 factorial, which is by definition 1. So we're just going to evaluate our function at 0. So that's natural log of 1, which gives me a 0. To get a sub 1, we take the first derivative, evaluate at 0, divide by 1 factorial, which is 1. So we take the derivative of natural log 1 minus x. Okay, pretend there's a box around the 1 minus x. Natural log of box is just take whatever the box is, put it under a 1. Then I have to take the derivative of the inside. That's going to give me a minus 1 up on top. I put a 0 in there, and then that gives me a minus 1. So our a1 is minus 1 over 1, or minus 1. Okay, for a2, second derivative, evaluated 0, divided by 2 factorial, which is 2. So our second derivative, this is just minus 1, 1 minus x to the minus 1. That minus 1 exponent comes down to give me a plus. We take the derivative of the inside that throws in another minus sign, so we have a minus 1 in front. And then on the exponent, we turn the minus 1 into a minus 2. I put 0 in here, that gives me a minus 1 raised to the minus 2, which is just a 1, so we have a minus 1. And now since we're looking at a2, I have to divide by 2, so I get it minus a half. For a3, I'm going to take the third derivative, evaluate at 0, divide by 3 factorial, which is 6. Okay, same idea here. To get the third derivative, we drop the minus 2, subtract 1 off the exponent to get a minus 3, and then we take a derivative of the inside, which throws a minus sign back out there. So we're looking at minus 2, 1 minus x to the minus third. We put a 0 in, and that's just going to leave us with minus 2. Now, we have to divide that by 6 to get a3, so that's going to give me minus 1 third, and those are all the a's. So now I can just load my a's up into our polynomial here, and that's going to give us this polynomial. Now we want to use this polynomial to estimate natural log of 1.1. Well note, natural log of 1.1 is going to be the function f evaluated at minus 0.1. That's going to be because 1.1 is 1 minus minus 0.1, and we're looking at the function natural log of 1 minus x. So natural log of 1.1 is going to be 0.09531018. So we want to take this out one term at a time just to see how we get closer and closer as we add on more terms of the Maclaurin polynomial. So if I just put in minus 1 into P1, note, P1 is just our tangent line, so that's what we would have done if we didn't have this polynomial business. We've been playing with derivatives as slope of tangent line. So that's just going to give me a 0.1, and our error here gets us to the thousandth decimal place. If I go to P2, so that's just using everything but the cubic term, put my minus 0.1 in, that gets me 0.095, and that'll get us to the fourth decimal place in the error. And then if I just go for the whole thing with the cubic, put our minus 0.1 in, it's be 0.095 and then repeating threes. And there our error gets us out to the fifth decimal place. So we see as I keep adding more and more terms on to our polynomial, our approximation gets better and better.